Hello everybody, once again from Northern Michigan, this is John Merchant with Valve Train Amps. Over the past couple weeks, I've been living with the Powertrain Studio 20. I did a demo video of it with the Line 6 HX Stomp, and I also did one with the Atomic Amplifier Box. Um, those are examples of some profilers, modelers, and what this unit does with those. But I also started looking around to see what I had in my possession, and I thought, well, I'll plug a few things in and see what happens. So um, I want to show you this kind of basic Marshall tone. There's just an SM57 on the speaker. No outboard EQ or effects, anything of that nature. Um, I'm going to do some play, and then I'm going to come back and tell you what that profiler is I'm using. <laughs> I'll come right back. I'll tell you what that profiler was. So what was the modeler or profiler I was using to get those pseudo Marshall sounds? It was this. It was the Quin Drive pedal, and the Quin Drive is a pedal that my friend Scott McAllister here in Michigan built for me based loosely on the Marshall Drive Master pedal. I had a, a Drive Master back in the late 80s, early 90s, really liked it. They discontinued it. Um, this was kind of before uh, these Marshalls in a box became real popular. So I had Scott kind of reverse engineer me this, and we named it the Quin Drive after my son Quinn. And uh, that's what that was. So that was this pedal, my guitar into it, out into the powertrain, and there I was. I had a good workable tone I could use. Uh, would I do that? Would I take just the uh, overdrive pedal and this to a gig? Probably not. I would want to have some of my effects and some space to put on there. But that just was an example that I have, you know, a preamp tube in here. I have the power tubes in here. And so when I put this in it, this is just kind of becomes my preamp, and then I have the amplifier there. So again, um, I have this pedal that I got from my buddy Scott, and um, I, I, I don't think I have 100 bucks into the pedal, because um, Scott was very gracious, of course. But uh, that's it. That and the powertrain, and there I was with a workable guitar tone.